Hey everyone, it's the tiniest one back with another preview for you. Now, that is preview, so I am limited what I can talk to you about, what I can tell you about, but I will do my best for you today. Now, this is the Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi Fi D4. And what that means is the DDR4 motherboard. So it's going to be easier for you to get memory and it not cost you the price of a house. In the box, it is actually very light. You get a couple of SATA cables, you get a driver CD, you get uh, your user guide, some stickers. I'm trying to see if there's a point for where it could go, but I'm, I was just wondering whether this could easily go somewhere on that. I think, in reality, Asus, there's a sticker here. I think they probably could have made one to have gone over that and had a few different options up here. Anyway, you do get some other screws in the box for doing your M.2s and stuff like that. Now, what I do need to tell you right from the get-go, because I've now forgotten, so I need to go and read it from a screen, is there is a 14 plus one amp uh, power phase array around the outside. And they're 80 amp Dr. Moss each. So, <laughs> You've got 15 in total uh, 80 amp Dr. Mosses on a tough board, and the tough boards are normally uh, one of the lower end boards in the Asus range. You can also see the Gigormous heat sinks on it, and all of this is aluminium. There's no plastic, so it's properly, properly beefed up. So it's making me wonder about the power requirements and more so the heat and how these phases and how the VRMs and everything, the chokes, the caps, are all going to do temperature wise. So lots of information for you to think about there and for me to test later, because there will be a full review obviously with DDR4. So it's gonna make things kind of interesting for me as well. Up the top, four pin, eight pin power, couple of CPU headers here, four pin RGB, addressable RGB. This bit, this bit, and something just up here, light up. I will show you that in a minute. Power connector here. You can see the light poster readout here. You've got CPU at the top, then DRAM, then VGA, and then boot. Those light up during the post phase, and if it hangs on one and stops, then you know what's wrong. So if it stops on VGA and doesn't go any further than that, then you know you've got a graphics card problem somewhere. Anyway, don't want to uh, teach you how to suck eggs. USB 3 uh, vertical one there, couple of SATAs here, which straight away you're like, only two? There's a couple of vertical ones here. So it's meh, yeah, it's because it's a lower end board. Then you've got your front panel header here, uh, fan header here, couple more fan headers there, just so that you are aware. So we've got two there, following around, looking for other fan headers, looking for other fan headers, one there, one there and then two there so two three four five six seven yeah there's quite a few yeah they are all fan headers as well none of them are dedicated water pump headers but if you do need it for a water pump then uh what you can do is just turn it on to maximum and then you're away another couple of rgbs down here both of these are addressable just three pin ones here. So you've only got one four pin RGB on the board. The other three are addressable. Internal uh, or external, I should say, USBs there, front panel audio, couple or a few Japanese audio capacitors here. Around the back of the board, HDMI display port. Obviously you're only gonna be using that if you've got onboard graphics on the CPU itself. Don't really need to use those if you've got a graphics card plugged in here because you would plug your monitor in those. Again, teaching you how to suck eggs. You can see the connectors around the outside. C's, some USB 3, USB 3.2 Gen 2, 2.5 gig Ethernet. Don't forget, you're going to need uh, supporting um, routers and stuff if you need that, or supporting switches if you're going to be trying to use utilize 2.5 gig more than the normal. Uh, gigabit Ethernet that we would have around the home with, with um, switches and routers and stuff. A lot of the Asus uh, routers now do feature 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports on them. Uh, Type-C again down here, Wi-Fi and then your 
coloured audio ports around the outside. Now one of the things I can do is because I took photos of this for the website, I can show you the board without the NVMe heat sinks on and you can see that there is one that doesn't have a heat sink on the whole time. That might be good for those of you out there with an NVMe drive with a massive heat sink on it and you want to keep and utilise it rather than using the, the board's ones, but that's obviously that one and then the other ones around the outside have got the uh, standard heat sinks on. The other thing that I said I can do to show you is show you the RGB that comes on on the board because I have a magic cable which kind of powers the board up without powering the board up because Intel won't let me show you a full system. I'm not allowed to show you a powered system but it's not a system because it's not got a CPU in it so it's just me showing you the RGBs. It's very slight, it's very minimal. I'm going to go as far as to say I don't think it particularly needed to be there but you know you could turn it onto orange or whatever. I think it's probably going to work with orange or just off on this board because of the fact that it goes through the yellow. But for now at least this is the tiniest one trying to well scrim trying to cram as many of these videos in as possible because I've been a very busy boy and I've been a very busy boy because there's not a lot of time before the actual NDA and I've now I know I'm allowed to preview these and show you the boards before the main launch day. So please check the channel for the other videos. Please come back to the channel to see the full reviews after launch day and I will get through them all as quick as I possibly can do. But for now, internet cookie, if you got to the end, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been the tiniest one with another video for you. Out. Pew.